soon we're at the So Year Quilting Shop and I've got Brody here and he's going to show us around. Come on guys, let's do it. Great, well thanks for having me. Um, we're here again in Las Vegas and as you can see behind us, this is our new store. We just barely opened it and we're going to give you a quick little tour. So come on. Okay guys, so we are a Bernina brother, Janome, Juki, and Handy Quilter Dealers. We're going to head over to the machine area first. Yes. So walk on over here. So you need to know I've got a crush on Juki machines at the moment. <laughs> yeah, we were just talking about that. She's, uh, she's going to end up with a Juki. I'm calling it. So come on down this way. So this right here is our machine area behind us. So again, we carry all those brands. We want to have something for every person that walks in the store. Mm -hmm. If you walk in and you have $200, you've been saving it up, you want to buy a machine, or you have $20,000 and you want to buy a machine, you want to have a little bit of something for everybody with all the features that someone's going to want, whether okay. it's embroidery, long arm, just straight stitch machine, any, any and all of the above. Well, there are a lot of machines on the market. So have you handpicked your favorite ones in each of the prices? Definitely. Prices? So come this way. We've kind of done exactly that. We've got like, you have like your basic, your medium, your advanced in each one, and like two or three options in each one of those. So um, whether it's brother, you know, we have the small little brothers over, or Janomis or brothers, and then you get up over here to like this one, which is, you know, this is a $20,000, the new Luminaire, you know? So anywhere around that, or you wanna go multi-needle, or you wanna go long arm, we've kind of got a little something, hopefully for everybody. That's the goal. We want everybody to come here. We, we always call ourselves, the people's quilt store. Cause we want what the people want. You know, if you want to come that's in right. and get whatever, we want to have it yeah. here. So that's uh, that's the machine area, okay? Our last store machine area was like this big. And so being able to upgrade it and awesome. you know make it to where somebody can walk in and really walk around and really sit down at machines and try them makes a big mm -hmm. difference. So a lot of my viewers are just learning to sew. So oh, awesome. they've either never sewed, okay. learning to sew, or they've never quilted. So if Great. you're sort of in that category, what would be the one machine sort of around two, three hundred dollars you'd recommend in your store right now? All right. Just wanted, so I wanted to we're gonna go these two right here. So this is the Brother um, NS80E, and we have this little Janome right here, and both these are in that price range. Um, they're simple, they don't have uh, a lot of crazy features that are gonna cause you to you know, hate sewing. A lot of times people get in over their head and they end up getting a machine that they're like, oh my gosh, I don't know how to use any of my functions, I don't know how to do whatever. And in doing that, they end up not sewing and that's the last thing you want, right? We want everybody Absolutely. to sew. So that's one of the main reasons we started a YouTube channel and I'm sure that's partly why you started yours too, of just someone that doesn't sew can easily take a second and watch a video and say, you know what? I can do this. I can figure this out. And then they end up, you know, getting a small machine or their grandma's machine or their mom's machine or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're able to start sewing. Awesome. So. I just want to have a quick look at Yeah, this check one. this out. This is the Gem Goal. I think this runs for like like 150 bucks, something okay. like that. So it's very simple, very, very rudimentary. But you know what? If you're, it's your first machine, you're not quite sure if you want to sew yet. Do you like sewing? Yeah. That's a great one. That's a perfect one. Gets you into it. I personally use Brother. Mm -hmm. And as an entry machine, I love that it's got the needle down yep. and the speed control. Which is very nice. I think those two features are invaluable. Yeah, I agree. I, especially, and then the, I say 100% like that, and then the next step up is get adding a cutter to it. Yes. And you add that cutter to it, it makes the little things a little bit even yeah. more easy. So. Bring her away. Yeah. You're a professional if you've got a cutter. Right. right? <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, that's the machine area. We also sell a lot of furniture, so if you really want to set up like your home studio like this, you can get set up on a home studio and uh, we have a YouTube video. It's actually over here. You guys can see like the behind the scenes of the YouTube video right over here. So we did a video on this room here and you can set up this entire room for under 5,000 bucks. The whole thing, everything you see in here, 5,000 bucks, including the sewing machine, including the cabinets, everything for $5,000. Really so cool. some wow. people come in and say, you know what? I, I like it. I'm getting into this. And you can see that on our channel. Maybe you can link the, uh, yeah, sure. the video to this underneath. But it shows you just, you can put together, this is a small space. You don't have to have a, a lot of people think I can't get into sewing. I don't have the space. I don't have the money. I don't have the whatever. You can do it. Okay. This well, could be someone's walk-in closet. Well, my cool. viewers know <laughs> I actually sew, do everything, record in our bedroom. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> you don't need a big space. I mean, a lot of YouTubers have these amazing studios, but Which that's cool, just not the reality for it. everyone. Yeah. <laughs> it's not the reality for everyone. This could literally be someone's walk-in closet. Yeah. I mean, right? if you had a walk-in closet. If you had a walk-in closet, right? <laughs> <laughs> but this machine here. Yep. This is one of our favorites. So this is the Juki TL 2010. Yes. Um, there's two or three machines in this lineup that we just mm -hmm. love. It has the cutting feature like I talked about. It cuts the thread. You can change your stitch length. 
It has reverse. You can do free motion quilting by dropping the feed dogs. And it's a very simple machine that does one thing, and that's forwards, backwards, that's it. And I believe it does it very reliably. Super. So we've we've sold lots and lots of these machines, yeah. and we never have issues with them. We don't want to get people calling us and saying, hey, something's going on with this machine. Whereas there are other brands and other things that we sell, not we sell, but people mm -hmm. sell, that uh, all the time, they can't figure something out, something's going wrong. But I'll tell you what, Anna has a speed control. I'll tell okay, you what, so it's, I'm uh, crushing on this machine. I have to confess I am crushing on this machine. Yeah. And it got my attention because actually it's made in Japan. Yep. And in my opinion, anything that's made in Japan is usually first class quality. And it's all metal. Is that correct? It's all what? Metal. Uh, oh, metal. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, what is that? Yeah, metal. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> It was, it was funny when you said when you said brother machines too. I was gonna say here we call those brothers, not brothers. <laughs> brothers. <laughs> so, yeah, so it's all metal, um, which is a, an important function to the machines. We actually have a video from a long time. I don't even know if it's posted anymore. Where we stand on top of them. Oh wow! And you can stand on it and then get off and set it on the table and sew on it. Okay, it doesn't so affect it's... anything. You know what I mean? They're they're actually cast machines that are they're incredible. It's well, a, and I guess that's probably how they were made in the past. Sure. Yeah. Now, the, like the banana I would have learned on uh -huh. 30 years ago yeah. probably would have been very similar to this machine. Exactly. Actually, yeah. it's just they're saving money with all the plastic casings. Sure, and sure. And this one doesn't even have plastic casing. This one's yeah. all metal. Yeah. All metal all the way through, which is nice. It uh, it gives it gives the hardiness of a machine mm -hmm. that's going to last forever. So, yeah. that's uh, this is the little sewing room. Yes. This is the and jiki. That's my <laughs> <question. So, laughs> um, one thing in our store that we're really big on is we like to do different displays. So we want people to be able, it's hard because especially as a new sewer, which is kind of what you said your mm -hmm. channel is focused on, as a new sewer, you might see, there's no patterns here I can grab, you might see a pattern that you think, this is really cool, but you don't can't quite get the vision of what colors am I going to put on it, or you see a pattern that you don't love, but just because it's the wrong color, right? Mm -hmm. So like this right here, we put this up so people can see this and say, wow, that's really cool, I like the bright colors, they can get this pattern and then we can help them. Let's say they don't want to be quite as bright as this one, we can tone it down a little bit, make it blue, make it purple, whatever. So you help people select the fabric? For sure, in yeah. The shop. Wow, that's Absolutely. cool, we that's like, cool. We like to help people do what they want, as well as if somebody is new, we can also point them towards, you know, a fat quarter bundle or layer cake to kind of get started and understand the, yeah. the basics of it. I personally find that people struggle the most with picking their colors and their fabric. For sure. Like for me, that's actually the fun part yeah. and the best part, yeah. but a lot of people that's very daunting and yeah. I actually wonder if some people can never actually get past that. So, I think it happens. Yeah. yeah, I think that's great that you help people. Yeah, we, we try to help you with it and then we try to make it easier. We have lots of pre-cuts as well as like, we'll put this into a kit. So if you really love this quilt, mm -hmm. you can make this quilt. Okay. Same with, so beautiful. there's a perfect example of that. Come around the corner here. That's beautiful. This right here is a kit. You can These are my just, colors. You can Everyone's just pick up the like, kit, and then you know I'm going to be able to make this quilt right here. It's on this bed. It's also where we take nap time. Uh, <laughs> it's not, never uh, uncommon to see somebody lounging. So um, we like to do the display so people can see what it is yeah, that um, what it is that they're going to be making. Because not everybody can see this and say it's going to look like this. Right. You know what I mean? So we try to help that's, the new yeah, the new guys, clever. right? I think that's clever. So. Um, Behind us here, we've got the long arms. Uh, we sell handy quilter long arms. Um, we ship them all over the country. Same with any of the machines we have there. We ship everything all over the country. Um, if you're really gotten into sewing, really like the quilting, you, eventually you, you might want to. Really end up got with the into long sewing arm, right? and quilting. If you want one of these puppies, so, oh, this is. They're they're fun. They're yeah. we we have a good relationship with handy quilter. We take care of the customers that we sell to, and that way mm -hmm. it's. Uh, somebody really gets a quality product and they get the quality service to go okay. through. So, um, anyways, let's and keep going. show them this lovely display here. Oh yeah, this, this is actually, this was a lovely display that we've had to move, so it's not as lovely okay. as it usually <laughs> is, but um, yeah, lots of pre-cuts. We love pre-cuts. Pre-cuts make it easy for somebody to walk in and say, man, I really like this collection. I'm gonna make a jelly roll quilt. I'm gonna make a layer cake quilt, a charm pack quilt, and be able to just grab and go. We're in Las Vegas, right? We're in the, the city of tourism, right? This is the internet, entertainment capital of the world. And not everybody has an hour or two to spend in a shop. They might come in, love it, and say, all right, we're going back to the hotel, back to golf, back to the casino, whatever we're doing, and they can still get in on their quilting yeah. supplies. I like how you group things, because I can see quite easily 
which is the collection sure like the family sometimes things are just so spread, spread out. out everywhere even i'm just like i'm not sure what's going on yeah yeah <laughs> which makes it difficult especially for a new sewer right yes. i mean that's a, that's a difficult and thing yet i'm visual and love fabrics yeah and, and i just wanted to point out the displays here for me this is how fabrics used to be displayed when i was a child so you'd go into a fabric shop and they'd be like this and you could really pull them out and have a good look at them but you can't actually see this often anymore in fact yeah. i don't think i have seen it before yeah it's uh well we're we're very blessed to be able to have a big space mm -hmm. and so we have the space to be able to display things you know the easiest way to display something is on a shelf where you can get as much in there as you can mm -hmm. but we want people to be able to see it to feel yeah. it to love it and so i believe you do this for the new collections all the new collections yeah we, here walk over this way i'll show you so all the new collections we put on rounders so we we get new fabrics in we have over ten thousand bolts of fabric in the store so we get new fabrics in literally every day mm -hmm. um and so we change out these rounders weekly so that people can see all the newest stuff you know we have regular customers that come in here you know once a week or a couple times a week and sure you we want to be able to, if i looked at that right? would be me you'd be like oh, she we want people to be able to see what the newest stuff is and not have to go you know rummage through the shelves so they'll be yeah. able to be able to see it um another thing we like to do behind us here are the big displays um it's hard to see we want people to see the practical applications for what mm -hmm. they're doing. Mm -hmm. A lot of people just quilt and it never gets finished or it never goes to a friend or whatever it is, but mm -hmm. you know, quilts can be out on the patio. You can put table runners on the table. You can have stuffed animals that the kids are playing with, whatever. And shock horror, you can use quilts. You can use yeah. them for picnic blankets. But yeah, you can you throw should. them in the wash. They yep. actually are better once they've been thrown in the wash yep. and used and washed and used. Yep. They're not breakable, so yep. use them use them up i actually just uh my parents are on a mission for our church right now mm -hmm. and uh they're in nebraska members of the church of jesus christ of latter-day saints and they have a ranch that they're working on and she pulled out quilts from her great grandmother so cool. that were all torn apart and they've been they i mean they were 100 years old right and we said you know what? we're gonna fix it so we actually have them here in shop we're fixing the quilts for her so they can continue to be used she said we use these every single day yeah, we still use so them beautiful. and they should so they should you yeah, should you use them use it makes them, them more special you made something beautiful yeah and the kids you know it's different if you you know years years down the road when all of us end up leaving this earth right mm -hmm. our kids are still going to be here and you want mm -hmm. the quilt that you use not the one that was in your closet correct right and if you use them then they have the memories of you using them yeah for sure i agree so um all right next area here and, and i apologize for the we're still moving in, guys. We still have empty <laughs> spots. We're still growing. So um, we are very big here at Soya on basics. Um, mm -hmm. Basics, blenders, staples. There's different names for all of them. Mm -hmm. You'd be amazed at the difference that a quilt, that it'll make in a quilt based on the basic that you use. Whether you're using, you know, a Riley Blake Dot or using Michael Miller Fairy Frost or using Moda Grunge or Stonehenge or whatever. Nose is fabric. Yeah, you're using, you're using whatever it is. You do a little turnaround here and show them this wall behind you. This is our solids wall. So regardless of what you're using, it makes a big difference changing out your blenders. Oh, and yeah. we keep a lot of blenders in stock all the time, as you can tell, mm -hmm. because we want people to have the option like of getting in there and getting their blenders. Actually, this is amazing because even with the reds, like I don't know if you can see it so well, but there's five different reds here. And if you went into a shop, they might only have one or two. It might not match. <laughs> and there's a very big difference between this red here to this red here yeah like day and night difference so it is important to have all the different tones in the same color yeah it's basics are really important as we actually we do a subscription box service and our subscription this year are basics okay and so we've sent a different basic every month that That's so cool. people can see it we've had people text us and email us and say i had no idea what i was missing that i've never used moda grunge i've never used whatever mm -hmm. the basic is mm -hmm. because you just it you take this collection here and you change out the basics in it five different ways and you have five totally different quilts so it's yes. it's a huge difference so i always my personal favorite thing is to find a collection you love pick your star fabric yep pick the few that you like from it and then i would actually personally go around the store and see what else i like works with yeah. it yeah i'm not so much into just picking one collection yeah you use it sense. use it how you want yeah but yeah. i feel like this shop would be great for that yeah well you can do you can do any and all of the above. If you want to just stick with, you know, I'm only going to use solids, boom. I'm only going to use dots, boom. Or if you want to go through and work your way through and pick it, you have that yeah. ability. So speaking of that, let's keep working through here and I'll show uh, I'll show the rest over here. So this area over here is what we consider like our color walls. So all through here, we have things separated by color. So you've got um, reds, pinks, yellows, orange, and it all follows the color wheel. 
So, which is important when you're picking fabrics, you're able to kind of blend through mm -hmm. the color well. Absolutely. Um, if you've never taken a class on color theory, take one. It, it will change the way that you quilt, it'll change the way you see things because, you know, a really big thing right now is that there are um, like purple and green collections. That's a really mm -hmm. big one. Mm -hmm. um, that's because they match up on the color wheel and that it, they match mm -hmm. together, even though you wouldn't normally think of that. So, um, keep coming down here, I'll show you the rest of these. Uh, My color's there. Right? <laughs> Um, blues, teals, purples, and we have a little, we don't do lots and lots with traditional Civil War, but uh, we have some traditionals here, Civil Wars, creams, browns, uh, white on whites. And then over here, this goes into the um, uh, novelties. So these are novelty fabrics, so like butterflies, cowboys, trains, uh, there's a floral section here. Dinosaurs, lizards, Dr. Seuss. Um, we want to have a little something for everybody um, at, along the way. So, sure do. Um, one of Tianka, my brother. So there's three of us. It's uh, well, there's three brothers and my mm -hmm. sister. There's myself, uh, my older brother Zach, younger brother Tianka, and then there's my little sister Ramy. And uh, we have another little sister too, but she's not here in the business. But um, Tianka's favorite section, this one behind us, we have from anywhere we've ever seen, we have the largest selection of fruits and vegetables <laughs> of anybody else. We're the healthy quilt store, okay? <laughs> So we have uh, just about everything. If you want to make a jar quilt or you want to do lunch bags, um, Tianka, my brother, is a Sunday school teacher in our church, and he takes a he has a bag that's made out of um, I don't know if it's still over here. It's made out of lettuce, so it looks like it's lettuce. <laughs> and he says cute. this is his healthy snack bag, and it's full of candy, right? And he gives it to the kids, <laughs> but so it's a healthy snack that's bag. Fun. So, anyways, that's over here. And then around here is the holidays, right? So we've got Fourth uh, of July, um, Christmas, Halloween. Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day. We try to keep all the holidays in stock because you never know, um, Hanukkah, you never know. You can right. work on a Christmas quilt whenever you want. You know what I mean? So we exactly. want people to be working and, on and it And some now. people want to be prepared. Yeah. So some people start in January yeah. to make their quilts for Christmas because yeah. they want to make 10 for all the grandchildren yeah. or what have you. Exactly. So we keep the Christmas in stock. Also, there's something about the traditional Christmas colors, right? Oh, yes. Like these collections behind us here are, I mean, it's the very traditional, like what you think of as like a classy, traditional Christmas. Mm -hmm. We have those in stock all the time. So, um, last thing that we have that's like the big, kind of a big thing that we really keep in stock, besides this shelf behind me, is uh, we do a lot of batiks. So a lot of people like batiks. Um, yes, we have, grandmother used to use batiks a lot. Yeah, we have a lot of batiks. Um, so this section here and then around the corner are all batiks. Um, lots of people. That's all they use. Um, I'm a big batik fan. I use everything, but I'm a big batik fan. And uh, we try to keep batiks in stock all the time. Batiks are timeless. You know, collections come and go, but batiks Absolutely. don't. So batiks are always, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I don't know. They're always in. Okay. <laughs> so, um, so if you like batiks, this might be the shop you need yeah. to come to. Yep. Yeah. So again, we try to keep a little something for everybody. Um, it's not... Uh, you can't keep everything, right? We had the, right. we've had two funny compliments, I guess, sort of compliments over the last uh, two weeks. Let's come this way too, so we, the AC is a little loud over there. Um, so a lady came in and she, she's walking around and she says, you know what? It's her first time in and she says, I'm, I'm not coming back. And I was like, why? What happened? You know, like, <laughs> tell me what's going on. And she's like, you have too much. Yeah. And then she turned, she walked out. I was like, I hope she wasn't serious. You know what I mean? But um, then other people come in and say, you know, I'm so excited because you, you know, I can come with my friends mm -hmm. and I love batiks and she loves, you know, hot rod fabrics and they can both shop together. They can yeah. both have fun mm -hmm. and not be, okay, we're going to go to your store first and we'll go to my store and then we'll see if we can get, you know, Becky something or whatever it is and everybody can shop together and everybody can have a good time. So yeah. it's kind of the goal behind it. I do. You do have a lot of fabrics. Yeah. It is organized very beautifully. Thank you. I have been in the shop once that has actually had too much fabric. Mm. It wasn't organized nicely, and I'm telling you, that's what had, happens. They had fabrics from 20 years ago. Yeah. Uh, and I, it, even I was overwhelmed. I'm usually never overwhelmed in a yeah. quality <laughs> shop, in a fabric shop, but I do have friends that say to me, even like a big box craft shop, uh -huh. they just get so overwhelmed. Yeah they actually leave before they even get what they were going for. Which is a shame. Which is a shame. Yeah. So, you know, just if you are feeling that way, maybe just think, okay, I'm overwhelmed now, but my favorite color is pink. Sure. I'm going to look at the pink fabric. Yep. Or, or grab a pre-cut. Yes. Yeah. Grab look a around and find all the displays with yep. your pre-cuts and just look for something that you love. I think people get so concerned about picking the right fabric. Yeah. Right? 
focus on the fabric that you just love. Just pick something that you're like, I love that, that sings to my heart, and that's where you start. Yeah, and then go from there, and you might not get it all in one trip. No. You know, no. get the three fabrics you really loved, and then from there you're gonna end up walking then, through a basic section and find every it. Week. <laughs> right, that's the goal, right? So, um, last thing I want to show you right over here is uh, we have two different sections that are very important in a quilt store. Okay, so we have this section right here. Okay, very important. Is that we for have the an, husbands? That's for the husbands, right? <laughs> so we have this section here, and then we've got uh, a section over there. They got a lot of couches and area that uh, people can hang out mm -hmm. even over right here people can hang out they can have a nice time and uh, we want it to be comfortable for everybody mm -hmm. we want it to be accessible to everybody and uh, you know I've spent a lot of time we grew up mom was a quilter I spent a lot of time walking around quilt stores and there's a lot of times that I wanted a chair like that and there wasn't one so that was important to us to be absolutely able to... I actually have a photo of Neil's sitting in that chair yeah there you go perfect <laughs> because we came in a few days ago and had a quick look around cool. and and he sat there and i took a photo yeah there you go so so niels appreciated the chairs didn't you niels <laughs> <laughs> so anyways that's kind of the store in a nutshell yeah. um everything that you just saw walking around you can get on soyaquilting.com um we have our youtube channel as well mm -hmm. all of our, all the social media you can look us up but we love if you're in vegas you want to stop by come and see us and uh yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I think everyone will agree this is really a beautiful store. Thank it's, you. You've sort of hit all the points, and the chairs are definitely a, a nice touch, <laughs> right? Even if you're feeling overwhelmed, just sit down and be like, okay, Take a break. what am I trying to do here? You know, what kind of cord am I trying to do? What fabrics do I like? Well, ask one of the ladies to help you. Yeah, 100%. Right? You should. I mean, that's what we're here for. We're here to help people enjoy the hobby, enjoy, whether you're getting started, you've been doing this 100 years, we want you to yeah. be able to enjoy it, get what you want, and have a nice time. And learn to love quilting, because it's fun, it's creative. It's good and people. Good yep. people, and you're creating an heirloom for your family. It lasts forever. So thank you so awesome. much, Brody. You're very welcome. I really appreciate your time. Bye, everybody. <laughs> See you later. Thank you for watching my videos. If you're enjoying them, please like, subscribe and leave a comment.